We have every intention of continuing an ongoing president presence in Kabul, uh, which is continuing even after we bring our uh, military uh, who, who are serving uh, home by the end of August. Uh, but we will also continue to be partners to the Afghan government. That's something that uh, the president reiterated when he met with leaders just a week and a half ago. That we that includes security assistance, that includes humanitarian assistance, uh, and that includes over the horizon uh, capacity uh, to ensure that we are. Uh, working to address any threats that we face. Uh, that will continue, and we intend to have a presence on the ground uh, in our embassy there in Kabul. Our focus as of now is uh, identifying a group of um, SIV applicants who have served as interpreters and translators, as well as other at-risk categories who have assisted us. And as you know, but for everybody else uh, who hasn't paid as close attention, uh, our plan is to relocate this group to a location outside of Afghanistan before we complete our military drawdown by the end of August. Uh, so that's where our focus is on at this point in time. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, we are doing that in part because we know these are individuals who uh, help the United States, even at, often at great risk, personal risk to themselves and their families, and we're going to work every possible contingency to make sure that we can help those who have helped us. But that's really what our focus is at this point.